how the hell does this thing work? The T2LT, it's a bit of a mind bender, isn't it? So let's get straight into it. This won't take very long because it's not, it's not difficult once you understand the principles. So a T2LT is a vertical dipole made of coax. So what you do is you take a length of coax and then halfway down at a certain point, I'm not going to give you dimensions, you can go and look those up. You basically strip off the braid at a certain length down to here. Uh, the inner piece you keep, so that's the copper wire. Around that you've got a little piece of you know a little piece of plastic, don't you? You leave that there, and then at a certain length here, you cut the uh, braid off. And what happens is you feed this antenna with some power, and this top half of the antenna serves as one half of the dipole. Uh, which is quite un easy to understand because it's connected to the center core, but it's the other half is where the magic happens. So if we extend this wire down here a little bit, then that goes off to the radio. So at this point, so whatever the distance is here, you know, from some sort of here down to here, you basically take the same distance down here, more or less, and then you put a choke. So as we've learned in previous videos, a choke is just a you can just wrap coax around a piece of pipe so i'm not sure how many times it is 10 times something like that 20 times go and look at tim's videos as i said before i'm not going into detail but put a choke here and what that does it demarks the second half of the antenna and how this works is the power comes up the inside of the braid and it jumps around onto the outside of the braid and it uses the outside of the braid as the second half of the antenna. The prime or the key principle here to understand is when you have a piece of coax, uh, you've got the center core and you've got the outer braid. Now what happens is all of the power is within the center of the uh, coax. It doesn't, there's nothing on the outside of the coax. That's like a separate world. Uh, so yeah, the way to think about it is everything that happens on the inside of that braid is a completely different world. It's isolated from the outside world and nothing is happening on the outside of the coax. What happens is the power comes up, it jumps around onto the outside and it uses the outside of the braid almost as a third piece of wire that acts as the second half of the dipole. So what happens is you end up with a radiation kind of lobe that sort of looks like this it's very it's exactly the same as if you have a dipole like this then your radiation pattern will look something like this if you're on the fundamental frequency so just think of that flipped on its side and this part or this leg is effectively just the braid of your coax coming up that's all it is you've flipped it up and you're just using the braid to act as this half of the antenna and you put a choke here to stop uh, the power going off the end of the antenna back down the you know coax <laughs> to the radio well there we go i know it's not the best explanation ever but uh, i was just bored and figured i'd make a very quick video explaining this kind of basic concept of how a t2lt works because if you understand this you understand why you need a choke on a dipole and other antennas and stuff it's understanding that the RF travels on the surface of the braid on the inside. That's the key thing to understand. Think of a coax almost as three pieces of wire, not two. Don't think of it as just the center core and the braid. Think of it as the center core, the inside of the braid, and the outside of the braid. They're three separate things in, in this world. So there we go. I hope that's helped somebody explain or understand even how the T2LT works because it really made me scratch my head when I first saw one. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.